Hello Virgo, this is Julie with Into Heart Space talking about love for September 2018. So before we get into love, let's just do a little overview for you Virgo of September. And, and I've been talking to each sign and just letting them know that, you know, the summer has been a little challenging with so many obstacles in our way. And Virgo, you have, you have... You've had your share, just like everyone else, but also it's kind of like you've you've um, you've been able to say in a couple circumstances, I told you so. <laughs> so good job, Virgo. <laughs> yeah, just make sure that you know all the friends and family who have been coming to you, being like, "Oh, this is falling apart. This is falling apart," and maybe things are falling apart for you too. But even even though they are, you still have this sense of like, "Yep, I know. I I already knew that. I knew it. I knew it." So, uh, you know, be gentle and kind with those around you and with yourself too. Okay. So let's get into some of the love aspects. I'm going to go into the singles and then into couples. So starting with my single Virgos, calling in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading, calling in the divine. What messages for my single Virgos? So this is Virgo sun, rising, or moon. What energy do they need to know? Okay. All right. Oh, and whoa, that one just popped up. Okay, and it's the Three of Swords in reverse. So it's a betrayal that has already happened. And I'm going to put this right smack dab up here because that one flipped and went on top of the pile. So that is a big thing for you in September. So let's see what's going to be surrounding it. The Fool reversed, Two of Swords reversed, Six of Stabs reversed. Um, the Emperor reversed, and then we have the King of, you know, I need to move everything up just a hair. Let's see. Sorry, I'm getting all messy here. But I want them so that you can see them. Alright, so King of Stabs reversed, and then Strength reversed, the Hermit reversed. Okay, Hangman reversed, Ten of Swords page of cups and then we had the three of swords that popped out all right <clears throat> we've got we've got some tr drama going on my single my single virgos um you know what so like we do have the page of cups right here in the night so it's looking for people to show up and also the emperor can show up and it could be an aries but the Nine of Staffs, this is a fire sign, so that's Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energy, Page of Cups, Energy is Water sign, so that's Pisces, Cancer, um, and Scorpio. But this is more of a message, okay? So it's like somebody is is giving you some, some knowledge that you're not in, that thrilled with. Now, with the Ten of Swords, I feel like, okay, so singles, the single Virgos who have just recently broken up with someone. Or, or have been in the process of breaking up with someone, or divorcing, or separation. This is, you know, September is going to be like a blow. It's going to be kind of a blow for you because I think a lot of Virgos have been thinking that, you know, well, just maybe it might work out. Just maybe things might come together, and it's not. Okay, because with the strengths reversed, Hermit reversed, the Emperor reversed, Hanged Man, Hanged Man reversed is actually really good. Uh, but it's just all this energy of, it's already happened, let it go. It's time to move on. All right? There is no new beginning with you, this past relationship. It's over. It's done. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Virgo, to say that. I'm, like, I would like to say that, you know, you know, there might be some hope. There may be some things that happen. But this is just, no. Nope. Okay? Um... New people coming in in September, I don't really see happening. And so Virgo, I'm going to, like, let's let's look at the positive here, is that the hangman is in reverse, okay? And it's actually next to the hermit that's in reverse. So it's saying, go out, enjoy yourself. You know who you are. You know what you need. Do it, all right? So instead of, um, some of you guys are going to want to play the martyr and be like, no, I got to work hard. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to, you know toe the line. 
that's wonderful, but right now you need to actually express yourself, go enjoy yourself, and uh, let off the steam, and, and the pain too, okay? The pain of losing someone, the pain of not getting together with someone. You've got to let that all out so that you can have some perspective and, and start to move forward for a new relationship. So I don't really necessarily see new relationships happening. I see you letting, finally, I'm hoping that you let go of the past, okay? Or of a relationship that has just ended. Because um, all these cards are saying that that's really complicated and difficult for you to do, but you have to find it within yourself to break that tie so that you can move on and so that spirit can bring you in a true relationship that is healthy and good for you. So let's pull up the Universal Love deck. Let's see what we've got here. This one. Trilogy of Light. Okay, my guides are saying read it to you. So this came up, I think, for Aries. Aries or Gemini. All right, the image of this card symbolizes a template of creation. Abstract energy spiral, spiraling into formation drops down into consciousness. If you have chosen this card today, be aware that the wheel is set in motion. An abstract idea that you've had floating around in your subconscious is about to surface in your conscious mind. Pay attention to new ideas over the coming days. One of these ideas is a seed for the beginning of something completely new. And I think you're... There's a there's a chance that you can miss it because you're focused so much on the past. So stay present in yourself. Acknowledge loss, but also acknowledge the gain that you have of the future. It's coming towards you, and it's really important to be ready for it. Keep your eyes open. Keep your heart open. And let go of the anchor of the past. Okay? Let's go into couples. All right, my Virgo couples. Hello. Let's look at love for September. So this is for Virgo couples who have at least one member who's a Virgo rising, sun, or moon. And my camera just fell, so let me pick that up. There you go. Now you can see. <laughs> All right, so calling in the... Oh, and it fell again. It is... There we go. Okay, so let's call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. Calling in the divine. What messages for my Virgo couples... Virgo Couples for September 2018. Alright, what do we need to know? Let's see here. Okay, got it. Got it. Alright, so Virgo Couples. My Virgo singles are, are having a tough go of it in September. So let's see what you have. Temperance. Six of Staves. Page of Swords. The Magician. King of Cups, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles reversed, Page of Staves, and Five of Cups reversed. Page of Staves is reversed, too. Okay. So well, what I do love is that we have a knight coming in, so this is a message. King of Cups is here, too. So King of Cups, that's a water sign, so that's Pisces, Sag not Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. N Pentacle sign, that could be you. It's an earth sign, so it's Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. So, But the energy here is uh, like a disconnect. So if your partner is a water sign, it's like there. It's like there's an ocean between you guys right now. And if they're not a water sign, they're going to be acting more like a water sign. What I do like though is they're in the upright. So it might be that they're just focusing on career. They're focusing on a friend or a family member a little bit more so than you. And it's making you feel like you're like you you don't matter. That you feel kind of left out in the cold. But the truth is, is that you know. Sometimes that happens in relationships. Sometimes we are not the focus of our partner. And that's okay. We just have to kind of go with it. But the thing is, is it's really, it's really affecting you in other ways, Virgo. Because I see like the Page of Swords up here and then the Five of Cups below. And, it, and it's, like you, it's like you feel like you can't get the message across to your partner that, you know, hey, I need your help. I need your support right now. I need you to be there for me and, and as well as 
your best friend or your mother or your sister or your brother. Because it, it's like you're moving into a, um, a tumultuous territory with the relationship if you don't speak up about it. And it feels like for, for my Virgos, it feels like my Virgo couples, it's just like same thing, different day. Like you've had this situation happen to you in the past many times. And so it's triggering you that this person is not like paying attention. You're like, wait a minute. You know, and I feel like, you know, your, your partner may have gotten some really bad news. You know, maybe they got um, fired from their job or, you know, they found out that someone in their family is sick or something. And so that's what's also pulling them away and pulling them into, uh, you know, to be by themselves. Because water signs do that. I mean, I don't know a single Cancer Scorpio. Um, well, Pisces, yeah, and Pisces, that when they get into... A really dark place or you know a little bit of depression they just pull back into themselves and you don't know where they went you know and that's how they deal with pain but you want to like be there and you know pull them out and say I need you in this relationship so the best way to go about that is you know them so well you know what makes them feel happy about their life you know what makes them feel you know, anxiety and stressed about their life. You're going to want to kind of push buttons. I have a feeling, Virgo. You're going to want to say, well, <clears throat> if you're feeling sad, feel sad. All right, have fun with that. I'm going, you know. But, and, and it's, that's not in your nature to do that, but you're just going to feel that because you're going to be fed up. But do your Virgoan beauty, beautiful self, and and support them and say, hey, I'm here for you. And even though you're going through a tough time, I love you and I'm also going through a tough time. So I have to make sure that I have a good foundation in order to support you too. And so take care of yourself, Virgo. Let them know. Be like, you know what? I'm going through it too. I got to take care of myself so I can be there for you. All right. So let's pull from the Universal Love card just to give some added guidance. Okay. Yep, this one. <clears throat> Golden memories. So remember the reason why you guys were together. You know, why the two of you love each other. What, you know, magnetized you guys together. Because it, it is an important remembrance. Because I, I feel like you and your partner have lost that. What is the beauty within each other? What makes you drawn to them? And it's still there, but you have just kind of hazed over it because of a lot of life's lessons being thrown at you at this time in your life. So remember the love you have between each other and that smile and that laugh and when you guys went out for ice cream and then figure skating. I don't know. I'm making stuff up. But you know what I'm saying is remember your, your foundation together. And if you don't, you two better go out and find it together. Okay. All right. If you would like a personal reading, find me on Facebook, email me, or you can go to my website. Also, you can find me on Instant Go. Okay. And remember, listen to your heart and the body will follow. Until next time, much love, joy, and blessings.